close to good friends, the ones we hold dear. The ones who will tell us what we need to hear. The ones who love us, right or wrong. And to all those good friends who give you this song. Well, hello good friends and welcome back to The Last Walk, Remember When. With yours truly, Ron Baumbach. And we're going back in time again to the fun times. So, get up off your easy chair, walk over to your cupboard, reach in and get that jar of Bosco. Get a nice big pitcher of milk and a tall glass. Pour in the Bosco, pour in the milk, stir it up, make sure it's good and smooth. Reach up into the cupboard, take out a packet of Reese's Pieces from the movie E.T. And Bosco, by the way, has been around since 1928. Anyway, go back into your easy chair, turn your lava lamp, close your eyes, get ready, it's storytelling time. The Last Walk is back. back, 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 back. Here's to good friends, the ones we hold dear, the ones who will tell us what we need to hear, the ones who love us, right or wrong, and to all those good friends who give you this song. This is one of my favorite shows to do. Every year we do the Toy Museum, the Strong Museum for Toys, up in Rochester, New York, and do their inductees, and the ones who are up to run for the museum's choice of inductees in the Toy Hall of Fame. And this is our 2022 version of the winners. So now that all your Christmas toys are put away in the shelves, open, unopened, wrapped or unwrapped, or maybe they're broken, maybe they're hidden away so the kids can get them during the course of the year, whatever it may be, we're going to think back of the toys from our youth and some of the toys you played with way back when as we revisit the toys in the Toy Museum in the Strong Museum for Toys in Rochester, New York. That's a clip from the song by the Monkees, All of Your Toys. I believe that's from 1967, if I'm correct. And I'm sure I need to thank my buddy Mike for getting me that song. Because he really loved the Monkees back in 1967. I found a place up in Rochester, New York, called The Strong. It's The Strong, the National Toy Hall of Fame. There actually is a Hall of Fame for toys. So New York State has a car museum, the Hall of Fame for baseball, and we have the Toy Museum. Located at 1 Manhattan Square in Rochester, New York, it's open Monday to Thursday, 10 to 5, Friday and Saturday, 10 to 8, and Sundays, noon to 5. It's owned and operated by The Strong, a national museum of play. It was established in 1998. There's a great website called www.toyhalloffame.org. Check it out. It's really cool. Well, I found out they actually have in there the Hall of Fame. And the first inductions were made... Now, the museum's been around for a number of years, but the first production of the Hall of Fame was made in 1998, when they actually inducted the following wonderful toys into the Hall of Fame. Drum roll, please. Yes, in 1998, the very first inductees into the National Toy Hall of Fame are, in alphabetical order, the Barbie doll, 
I wonder if Ken made it or just Bobby. I'm sure if you walk around the museum, you'll see Ken because he's always around. And this convertible they had and this and that. The Crayola Crayon, Binny and Smith, I think it was, the Crayola Crayons. The Erector Set, now I stunk at the Erector Set. I had that when I was a kid. I could not figure out how to do those things. I didn't, I was terrible with the Erector Set. That's why I didn't go ahead and build buildings. I built dreams and memories. The etch sketch I was pretty good at that, but nowhere near as good as most people were. That was always my, did my favorite thing on the etch sketch and shook it, it was done. The Frisbee, which we still use this day to our grand dogs as they run around and catch that thing. The Lego, the museum Lego has now their own Lego uh, parks, etc. I was always fascinated by people who did Legos, the same folks who graduated from the Erector set, probably. And marbles. Marbles was my pastime. I love picking up marbles with my toes. I don't know why, but that was my thing. And I know you, you flick your fingers and you move marbles around. Never knew how the rules of the game was, but people did. They made it to the big time in the Hall of Fame. One of my favorite board games was Monopoly, and that's in the Hall of Fame. Park Avenue, Boardwalk, etc. And get out of jail. Wasn't get out of jail in Boardwalk and Monopoly also? Play-Doh. My grandkids love Play-Doh, and I still love playing with Play-Doh, too. And the teddy bear. Who does not love a teddy bear? The Tinker Toy, which to me was another rendition of the Erector Set and the Lego. I couldn't figure those things out either. I wonder who voted on these things. Pretty cool choices. In the following year, there were more inductees. Six more toys made it to the big time in the National Hall of Fame for Toys. In 1999, they brought in the Dunkin' Yo-Yo. Isn't that a great toy? Doing that uh, sleep, baby sleeps, rock the baby or something like that, walk the dog, all those things. We had a kid in the block we called Yo-Yo. I don't know if she still goes by that name or not. Anyway, the second one in that year was the Hula Hoop. How were you with the Hula Hoop? I stunk. I could not get that thing to go around me more than one time. Many of the kids in the block did. The girls were wonderful with it, but I stunk. Next, we go to the year 2000, the Y2K year, if you remember that, the Millennials. And the ones inducted in 2000 were the Bicycle. Love the Bicycle. We all love the Bicycle. I did a show about bicycles a while back. I used to love riding no hands. I wouldn't dare try that now. No one had helmets back then. We all did our crazy stuff. And it's a miracle that we're still here today. Jacks. Who didn't love jacks? My sister was the queen of jacks. She could throw that ball up in the air and catch those little silver things, the jacks. I think there was ten of them. You catch one first and you catch two, three, four, five. I have looked and looked and looked to find a pair, a set of jacks as I do my talks. I show toys when I do my talks. And I've looked for a set of jacks. I only could find rubber plastic jacks. But that's not the real thing. The real thing is the little round ball and those 10 metal little jacks. Somehow, some way, I'll find them. Next thing inducted was the jump rope. The jump rope, another thing I was terrible at. Amazing how many things I was pretty bad at. And Mr. Potato Head made the class. He's in there. Now we all love Mr. Potato Head putting those things around his eyes and where his mouth should be and put his nose where his eyes should be, etc. And the slinky. Who didn't love putting that slinky going down the steps? The slinky's in the Hall of Fame. Oh, I've been so lucky and I've been so blessed. In spite of my failings, I've found success. For I've known love and I've known good times. And I have known friendship and written some rhymes. Now we go to the year 2001. And only two items made the Hall of Fame that year. I don't know how they chose. I guess they got to find out more about that. But they only picked two items. One of which I really enjoyed. Silly Putty. Wasn't Silly Putty the stuff that bounced around? You could like in the show, the movie, oh, with Fred McMurray years ago. The Absent Mind Professor. Was that Silly Putty? I don't know. But anyway, I thought Silly Putty was pretty cool. And the Tonka Truck. Tonka Trucks that all of us wanted to have. They made the Hall of Fame in 2001. The following year, 2002, came the Jigsaw Puzzle. 
Who didn't sit down and enjoy on a rainy day getting all your friends over and putting together those 5,000-piece puzzles? I excelled in the 10-piece puzzle. The 5,000-piece, 500-piece, 300-piece was more for the experts. Another inductee that year was the Raggedy Ann. The Raggedy Ann doll. And then she must have had a buddy, I would assume, too. But Raggedy Ann made the Hall of Fame in 2002. Years ago, my brother Dick had a party at our home when my parents were away. And he, my sister Deb, had a two Raggedy Ann's. I think Raggedy Andy and Raggedy Ann. So Dick had his friends over, and they had, these, these were very big dolls, very, very big dolls. So he had, one of his friends decided to go by the window and have the two dolls have a little bit of a session together, so to speak, like a kissing and hugging session in the window. One of our neighbors happens to see it riding by and thought it was really two people in the window. As my parents pulled up in the driveway that night, all hell broke out. You can just imagine the fun we had the next morning. Anyway, that was the year 2002 when the Raggedy Andy, I'm sorry, Raggedy Ann made the Hall of Fame. The following year in 2003, it was Alphabet Blocks. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Alphabet Blocks actually made the Hall of Fame. And they're in there for your viewing pleasure. And Checkers. Checkers, the incredible game Checkers, is in the Hall of Fame. My dad, as you may have known, passed away from Alzheimer's many years ago, about 25 years ago. He had one thing he could do until the day he passed. He couldn't talk, couldn't do many, many, many things, but he could play checkers. And when my Aunt Violet told me when they were kids, way back when in Corona, New York, he would play a lot of checkers as a kid. So that's one thing that stayed with him to the end. And he could beat anybody. His fingers couldn't move that well, but he could really move the checkerboard and move those checkers on that board. In 2004, the G.I. Joe made the Hall of Fame. He went from the battlefield to the Hall of Fame in Rochester, New York, followed by the rocking horse. The old rocking horse that you had, you jumped on your saddle, sit in your house, riding your horse away. And Scrabble, what a really good educational board game. In the Hall of Fame in 2004. What better song to play during a story about the National Hall of Fame of Toys than the theme from Toy Story, You've Got a Friend in Me. What a great movie from Disney. I love that film. And in the year 2005, the inductee was only one. The wonderful board game which is still played today by many, many a child and many a parent and a grandparent and aunt and uncle and friends, Candyland. The great game Candyland is in there. In 2006, the Easy Bake Oven actually made some cakes, and they're in the Hall of Fame. Followed by the Lionel Trains. The Lionel Train, did you have that when you were a kid? We had that when we were kids. My dad had a set in the basement that was really cool. I was not allowed to touch it. My brothers, Dick and Jerry, were. I was too little. My dad would put some little Aspen-like little white pill in the engine, and there was smoke out, smoke would come out. We have the hoot toot where you turn that little button on the big black dial. It was a source of many an argument, who gets the trains. I wasn't even in the conversation, and my brothers Dick and Jerry shared it, and I, I think they're now sitting in Florida in my brother's home. Anyway, that was the year 2006 when they made the Hall of Fame. In 07, the Atari 2600 game system is in there, as well as the kite. Go fly a kite. What more fun can you have than outside with your kids than running along on a bicycle maybe and a long string and a kite flying in the air or running along the beach? That's great. And I just learned 
Raggedy Ann, as I mentioned before, made the Hall of Fame in 2002. Well, it took five years later, 2007, when Raggedy Andy actually made the Hall of Fame too. So Andy and Ann are together again. In 2008, the baby doll, the actual baby doll, got inducted into the Hall of Fame, as well as the skateboard. I was terrible on a skateboard. I have nephews who were really good at that. I mean, incredibly good at that. And they're much older now. They probably still are, but they were really good at that. And a stick. Actually, a stick is in the Hall of Fame. Now, I love stick balls. I'm assuming that's what they mean by this, but a stick made the Hall of Fame. How many games could you play with a stick? Many things you could do with that back then and today. In 2009... The ball made the Hall of Fame. So if the stick made it in 2008, they followed that a year later with the ball. Hope it's a pinky or a baseball or a football. All I know is the ball's in the Hall of Fame. There's probably a big display of it. Someday I have to go to Rochester to visit good friends of mine, and I need to go to the Hall of Fame. The big wheel's in there as well. And the Nintendo Game Boy. Remember going to get those games, the games for your kids on the holidays and birthdays and Christmas, getting the Game Boy games, all that money we spent as they sit around and playing their Game Boy? That's now in the Hall of Fame. In 2010, they put in the playing cards, actual deck of cards. How many games could you play with cards? My Aunt Estelle and I and my brothers and sister, we would sit around in the evening on a Saturday night and play Canasta or 300. And many, many games. My dad loved Pinochle. And people obviously play poker. The game of life. The wonderful game of life, the board game. The game of life. Not the real game of life, but the board game of life. That's now in the Hall of Fame. In fact, the actual game of life's in the Hall of Fame, too, I guess. That's a really cool one. You ride around a little car and the people in there. And you go through the whole view of life as you travel through life's journey. That's in there as of 2010. In 2011, the blanket made the Hall of Fame. The blanket, how many kids love their blanket, their blankie? And the dollhouse is in there as well. Our granddaughters love our dollhouse that's been in the house for many years. It's a major, major source of entertainment when they come over and play. And Hot Wheels, run around with those Hot Wheels. They're in there as well. The following year, 2012, Domino's. Domino's made the Hall of Fame. I always thought Domino's was the game that Johnny Carson had on TV when he had that guy line up thousands of Domino's and he pushed one at the end. They made that huge circle all around and it made, finally went to the end where they all collapsed down. I thought that was Domino's. I never knew what they meant until my grandkids showed me the game and we started playing it in their little box with the train whistle, etc. Domino's, 2012, as well as the Star Wars action figures. Oh, people love the Star Wars, and they're now in the Hall of Fame. In many, many ways, they should have been there many years earlier, I would think. Star Wars is big, and it's still big. In 2013, the rubber duck finally made it in. The rubber duck is in the Hall of Fame, as well as the game Chess. For those brilliant people, remember Bobby Fischer back in the 50s and 60s, 70s, or maybe the 70s? Bobby Fischer and a big uh, German, uh, Russian uh, counterpart with playing his chess matches around the world. Well, chess is now in the Hall of Fame. The following year in 2014, Bubbles, Bubbles is in the Hall of Fame. You'll love bubbles, making those bubbles. Little kids love to run around and catch the bubbles. There's a children's museum in Long Island in Nassau County. It has a bubble room. You go in there and you have bubbles. You can stand in the bubble, little kids do, and fill themselves inside a bubble. Bubbles will blow them, and you, you have the magic wand. You move around with those bubbles. Well, they're in the Hall of Fame and well-deserved. And Little Green Army Men. Don't you love the army men? The little guys made your own war zones when you were a little kid. Well, they're now in there holding the fort down in the Rochester, New York National Hall Toy Hall of Fame. And the Rubik's Cube. Has any one of you ever figured out how to do a Rubik's Cube? Can you do it within the certain time zone? I have not yet broken the record. It's taken me many, many years, and I'm nowhere near getting 
done. Can you get it done? And what's your record of getting the Rubik's Cube done? Well, someone did, because it's in the Hall of Fame. The following year, 2015, the puppet, the actual puppet, made the Hall of Fame. I went to a puppet show in Germany years ago. It was really cool. Many years later, my wife and I, traveling, going through Italy, passed by the hometown of Pinocchio and Geppetto, his father. I would think they're both proudly in the Hall of Fame as puppets. Maybe I'm wrong. The Super Soaker, I have no idea what a Super Soaker is, is in the Hall of Fame. It must have been a fun toy it made the big time. And the Twister, the game Twister, which was a really good fun at kids' parties when you were a teenager. The Twister. 2016, Dungeons and Dragons was inducted. We have some nephews who loved that game when they were growing up. Dungeons and Dragons. And the Fisher-Price Little People. They're still hanging out in my house, those Fisher-Price Little People. And the Swing. Who doesn't like a swing, whether it be a swing or a tie or whatever it might be, in your backyard, at a playground, the Swing rightfully deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, and it's there as of 2016. In 2017, the game Clue. Didn't you love that game Clue as a kid, playing that game, figuring out? I recently found some pieces of Clue, and I wonder if it's worth any money at all. With little tiny, those clues you have for Clue, somehow they fell out of a box in our basement. And the paper airplane, putting that together, flying it, Mine always crash landed within about five seconds, but some kids in school could really make those things zoom and fly off. They were talented, Aeronomic, aerodynamically talented kids who probably are now engineers. And the wiffle ball, the wonderful wiffle ball, I think that's now part of pickleball. Wiffle ball we, we played many, many years ago and had a lot of time and fun with. Wiffle ball's there in the National Toy Hall of Fame. Yeah! And in 2018, the winners of the Toy Hall of Fame were Uno. I love the game Uno. Little box you get to play. I love that game. And the Magic 8-Ball. I love turning that thing around, seeing the Magic 8-Ball knew your future or your past. And Pinball. One of my best buddies in college, Ray Decay, was a pinball wizard. I'm glad that pinball, in honor of my buddy Ray, is now on the Toy Story Hall of Fame. Not Toy Story, but the Toy Hall of Fame. Oh, I've been so lucky and I've been so blessed. In spite of my failings, I've found success. For I've known love and I've known good times. And I have known friendship and written some rhymes. And the winners from 2019 were, in no particular order, The Coloring Book. Right, Ellie? Yeah. You like coloring books? Yeah. What kind of coloring books do you like to use? Um, and frozen. You like to color in coloring books? Yeah. Isn't that fun? Yes. I love the color. What's your favorite color? Red. Red. Oh, red. I like blue, right? Yeah. What's Daddy like? Um, and green. Green, and Grandma likes? Um, purple. Purple. We all like different colors in the coloring book. Our next winner for 2019 was Matchbox Cars. Matchbox Cars are really cool. I don't know if it's true or not, but I heard they sell one Matchbox Car a second. Impressive. And our final winner for 2019 was something called the Magic Card Game which I have no clue was all about. But now, the actual winners for 2020. Baby Nancy. Sidewalk Chalk is in the Hall of Fame. And the wooden block game called Jenga. And for the year 2021, the winners who joined that year are the American Girl Dolls, they made it to the Hall of Fame. All those girls out there with their dolls, you're in the Hall of Fame with your dolls. 
Wow, well deserved, my dears, well deserved. And also joining you is the game Risk. My friend Fred would be so will be so thrilled. His toy game made it. And the final winner for 2021 is you know it, it's Sand. The Sandman. No, it's Sand. Play Sand. We all did it. We played with it. We had fun with it. We build with it. We do many, many things with it. People made it make their wedding vows with different colors of sand. They play in sandboxes. It is a beach fun, fun thing to do. Sand is in the Hall of Fame. Oh, I've been so lucky and I've been so blessed. In spite of my failings, I've found success. For I've known love and I've known good times. And I have known friendship and written some rhymes. And now, the moment you're waiting for. The nominees for 2022 were as follows in no particular order. Something called Catan. I have no clue what Catan was or is. A game called Lightbright. I remember that well. I think my oldest son Jim loved it. Nerf toys. All Nerf toys put together. Masters of the Universe. I remember those really well. Pinata. Remember the Pinata? Chocolate, chocolate malt, candy, gumdrops, anything you want. You've come to the right man because I'm the candy man. Woo. Who can take a sunrise? Who can take a sunrise? Sprinkle it with you. Sprinkle it with you. Cover Ooh. it with chocolate and a miracle or two. The candy man. The candy man. Who the candy man can. Don't you love Sammy Davis Jr.? The candy man fits right into the panetta. You picture that candy come flying down on the ground. How about phase 10? Don't know what that was. Maybe a word game. And pound puppies? I remember that a little bit. Game called Racco. And the Spirograph. And the famous Top. T-O-P. The Top. And now, without further ado... The winners for 2022 are... And Masters of the Universe. Remember He-Man and She-Ra, all those other guys. All kids had it. My guy Jim was big on He-Man. I used to line up our den with his He-Man characters when he was a little, a little tyke. He loved that thing. That came out around 83, around that time of year, I believe. We well, man I guess Thor, and the other guys, they're now in the Hall of Fame. And next one up is Light Bright. Light Bright, the shiny game that lights up your world, is in the Hall of Fame. And the last one that made it for 2022 is The Top. Yes, The Top. The Top is spinning around in its glory in the Hall of Fame. Yahoo, baby! They made it! Yeah! All right, they're the winners, baby. Thank you very much. Life is too short, we get only one turn. With luck we find beauty, but we sometimes get burned. But if you've had a true friend, or perhaps in love, you've experienced the peace of heaven above. You've been listening to The Last Walk, Remember When, with your host, Ron Baumbach. We've been discussing toys, the toys that made it to the Hall of Fame. And thanks to the strong, the National Museum of Play, we have the National Toy Hall of Fame in Rochester, New York. What toys do you like? What's your favorite one from your youth? And what toy do you think should be in the Hall of Fame that didn't make it? Maybe you can nominate it for it the next time around. I'd like to thank my granddaughter Ellie and all those who made this show possible, such as 
the Toy Story theme song from the movie The Toy Story. And of course, to my good friend Paul Cassone for the wonderful song, Here's the Good Friends Heard Throughout Our Show. And I'm indebted to my buddy Mike, my college roommate, from his studios in the great state of Tennessee, where he worked so hard to make our show and our voice sound so much better. The book, The Last Walk on Our Block, is available on Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com. It's a Nook print and Kindle version. We'll see you next time on The Last Walk. Remember when. Here's to good friends, the ones we all dear. The ones who will tell us what we need to hear. The ones who love us, right or wrong. And to all those good friends who give you this song. And to all those good friends who give you this song. Yes, Ellie. Can you get froggy? Friendship will never die. You're going.